So now I'm going to tell you something about wood polymers. As I already mentioned, we have lignin, we have cellulose, and we have hemicelluloses. So something about cellulose. Cellulose is made from sugars. And the sugar molecules in cellulose are all the same sugar. So it's just made from glucose. And the glucose molecules have a shape like this. There's an oxygen atom sitting there. So they have this what's called uh, a chair shape. And basically, they bond together at this position and this position. And when we get this bonding between glucose molecules, we end up forming a structure like that. And this polymer, which is made up of lots and lots of monomers, is a very long, very straight molecule. And sitting off the side of this molecule are lots and lots and lots of hydroxyl groups. So if one cellulose chain meets another cellulose chain, we have this ability of hydrogen bonding between the chains. I won't draw it in any detail. So this hydrogen bonding between chains, between the hydrogen and the oxygen, ends up forming, can't draw that one very well, ends up forming a very stiff linear structure. And this structure is made up, the length of these, we don't really know the exact length, but it's at least 10,000 glucose molecules. And these chains join together to form something called a microfibril. And the number of cellulose chains that makes a microfibril is something like 36, although some people say it's 24. Something like 24 to 36 cellulose chains go to make a microfibril, which is very long, and very, very stiff if you stretch it. But if you try pushing it, it will crumple up just like a thread of cotton. So strong intention. but not strong in compression. And that's the microfibril.